Today's project is we're going to replace the HMI board and a 315 automower. That is the HMI board right there. That is your um, display screen and everything mounted on that board. If you were looking at it from the top, if we had this hatch open, your display screen would be right here. Your keypad is there. And you can see that this board is underneath all that. Now, if you have Automower Connect installed on your mower, if it's 315X and it came factory with it, or if it's a 310 or a 315 and you added it, then that would have been mounted right like this. There's right, right on those two posts right there. And you should remove that just to make it easier to get in there and see what you're doing. So that out of the way, we're ready to take this board out. And um, this is a lot easier than on a 400 or 500 series automower. Um, a lot less stuff in the way. But you want to you make sure if you're doing this on your own or if you're a dealer doing this for the first time, take pictures. Just snap a few pictures with your cell phone. That way you know where everything goes. You don't have to worry about plugging something into the wrong spot or forgetting to hook something up. Just go ahead and take some pictures of it quick and then get started on unplugging stuff and removing stuff. So we're going to unplug our ribbon cable and this ribbon cable here. And this is the, uh, the wires that go to our micro switch for our stop button. We're going to unplug all that and get a better view of this circuit board that we need to pop out of there. All right, you can see we unhooked our main ribbon cable there. Just do that by pushing down the ears here on the side of the plug, and it comes right out. Now, this other one, you're probably wondering, well, how do I disconnect that? Well, real simple. You just make sure your hands are real clean. You just grasp it and pull it up out of there. And you want to make sure when you're putting that back in there, you have it lined up just right. You don't go jam it in there and bend anything up. And, of course, the, uh, the plug here for your micro stop switch you just pull up on it and it slides right off of there so that's it that's the the, the uh, back of our hmi board now here's the hmi board itself that we're putting in there this is what it comes um looking like brand new out of the box that's the side you're looking at right there in the mower and then of course that's the front side we have this little tab here because there's a protective layer of plastic on there we need to pull off and then we're ready to put this in. So to get the old one out of there, all you have to do is push back on these little tabs right here and just lift up on the board while you're doing that. Now that requires two hands, so I'm gonna go ahead and take that one out of there and then we'll show you how you put the new one back in. Okay, we have our HMI board out of there. We're going to get ready to put our new one in. We're going to remove the protective sheet here on the top of the screen. Um, and then we're going to flip our HMI board upside down. And then you see these little, little ears up here in the front. You want to latch the board into them. That's where you remove the other one from. And get all your your stuff out from under it so there we go we have the board inside the little tabs up here and we have it against these locking tabs in the back and then all you're going to do is just push down push down a bit firmly there um, right by those tabs that latch it into place and it'll snap right in and that's it our new board is in. We're going to plug our ribbon cables back in. I'm gonna wiggle that one a little bit just to get it to go down in there nice and easy without bending anything up. We're gonna put our stop switch plug back on there once we get it flipped around the right way. Bear with me here. Um, holding the camera with one hand and trying to plug in wires with the other. There we go. That one's in. And then our big ribbon cable. I'm just going to plug that right in here. And you can only plug this in one way. It has this little square tab right here and it has a notch cut out on the back side of this plug. So it would only plug in one way. Don't try to force it. 
Um, do make sure that the ears are open though if you're putting a new board in there and you're trying to plug it in because it won't plug in with those ears shut. So there we go. That's all done. The board's in there. We're ready to mount this back onto our lower chassis and put everything together. Now here's what you need to know about replacing an HMI board. It's going to have to be done by a dealer or if you do it yourself, you're still going to have to take it to a dealer because they're going to have to hook it up to a computer and they're going to have to program everything to get the new HMI board to work with your existing motherboard. And if you have the automotive connect board in there, all those boards have to work together and they have to know that one another exists. They have to know what mower they're in and all that good stuff. And that can only be done by a dealer. So up to you if you're looking to try to take this on yourself. You could go as far as you got right here and then put the mower back together, take it to a dealer, have them do the rest as far as the programming. Um, but you're not going to get out of going to the dealer. It's just going to have to be done on a 300 series mower. There's no way around it. Um, so that's the bad news. But the good news is it's a lot less labor than doing it on a 400 and 500 series where you have to take the whole nose piece off and and uh, all that good stuff to be able to get in there to take that out. So that's it. That's how you replace the HMI board. That's where the HMI board is at. That's what's involved. We're going to throw our automotive connect board back in here and put this thing back together and program it. And then it's ready to go. So if you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And thanks for watching.